Horticos. Welcome back to our Horticos world. Friends, I'm here to help you with your IKJRF preparation, and this is the first ever video on YouTube focusing exclusively on pigments and principal compounds present in all horticultural crops like fruits, vegetables, flowers and spices, aromatics etc. from where we can expect the objectives. So without any delay, let's get started. Before knowing directly about pigments or compounds present, let's have a brief idea about pigments in plants. What is a pigment? Biological pigments, also known simply as pigments or biochromes, are substances produced by living organisms that have a color resulting from selective color absorption. In fruits and vegetables, almost all colors are caused by just four groups of pigments, they are chlorophylls, carotenoids, flavonoids, and betalanes. Let's know this in detail. There are two types of pigments, photosynthetic and protective pigments. Firstly, photosynthetic pigments. These are only pigments that have the ability to absorb energy from sunlight and make it available to the photosynthetic apparatus. These are again of two kinds. They are chlorophyll, which is the green photosynthetic pigment found chiefly in the chloroplasts of plants and its major function is to convert sunlight energy into chemical energy through the process of photosynthesis. It is further divided as chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. Chlorophyll A is used in oxygenic photosynthesis and it absorbs light within the violet, blue and red wavelengths while mainly reflecting green. And its chemical formula is C55, H72, N4, O5, NG. Chlorophyll B helps in photosynthesis by absorbing light energy. It is more soluble than chlorophyll A in polar solvents because of its carbonyl group. Its color is green and it primarily absorbs blue light. Chemical formula of chlorophyll B is C55, H70, N4, O6, NG. Knowing about carotenoids, these are also known as tetraterpenoids, these are yellow, orange and red colored organic pigments. So its biological function include photosynthesis, photoprotection and cell signaling. Further carotenoids are two types. Here, carotenoids with molecule containing oxygen such as lutein, xeaxanthine they are referred as xanthophylls. Then next, the unoxygenated that is oxygen-free carotenoids, such as alpha-carotene, beta-carotene, and lycopene, these are known as carotenes. And carotenes which contain only carbons and hydrogen, that is hydrocarbons, comes under subclass of unsaturated hydrocarbons. So in carotenoids the color range from pale yellow through bright orange and deep red colors. Now, second type of pigments are protective pigments. This include anthocyanins. And these anthocyanins also called as anthocyanins. These are water-soluble pigments, depending on their pH, they may appear red, purple, blue or black. So these anthocyanins belongs to a parent class of molecules, which is called as flavonoids. And here, it is important to know that, Anthocyanins have purple color, with neutral pH, and it changes to blue, on increasing the pH, so anthocyanins are more stable, at low pH which gives a red pigment color. This is about, all the basic information, about pigments. Now let us see, the pigments and compounds, present in different crops. Before that, dear friends, it takes so much efforts for our team, to present all this informative content in single video, which is useful for you who are preparing for different competitive exams. So, if you find this video informative then please subscribe our channel, like and share with your friends. Let's continue. Let us see the pigments present in vegetable crops. In tomato, 
Red color is due to lycopene which is a natural carotenoid and it has anti-cancer property. Yellow color is due to beta carotene. Tangerine color is due to pro lycopene or cis lycopene. And brinjol color is due to presence of anthocyanins. In chili, red color is due to capsanthin which is 36% and capsorubin. Yellow color is due to lutein and zeaxanthin. Orange color is due to beta carotene. In cauliflower and sweet potato, orange color is due to beta carotene. And cassava, yellow color is due to beta carotene. In cucumber, orange color is due to beta carotene species and it is cross between Cucumis sativus variety and Ishuang bananasis. Then, beetroot. Red color is due to beta carotene and yellow color is due to beta xanthins. Next, radish. Purple color is due to cyanidin and red color is due to pelagonidin that is raffinacin then red or purple or pink color is due to anthocyanins then next one carrot red color is due to lycopene which is about 50 to 100 ppm orange color is due to beta carotene and it is of 60 to 500 ppm and in roots up to 50 percent Purple color is due to anthocyanin. Yellow or lute color is due to xanthophyll. Total carotenoids ranges from 80 to 120 ppm and then HCM that is high carotene mass is about 500 ppm. In black carrot color is due to anthocyanins. Next, bitter gold. Color is due to beta carotene. In melons, yellow and orange color is due to beta carotene. Water soluble antioxidants are C, B, and fat soluble A, D, E, K are present. Here, let us learn about compounds in vegetables. In tomato, steroid glycoalkaloid present is tomatine. Aroma in tomato is due to presence of sulfonic or sulfonium. Next, brinjol. Bitterness is due to presence of solacidine. Phenolic acid seen in brinjol is chlorogenic, antioxidant. Dry fruit of brinjol consists of goiterogenic principles. Steroid drugs contain diosgenin and another major one. Browning or discoloration of brinjol occurs due to presence of polyphenol oxidase enzymes. Now in carrot. Kanji, which is prepared from black carrot, is an appetizing drink. Bitter taste in carrot is due to isocumarins. Then taste in carrot is due to presence of glutamic acid. Carrot seed contains carotyl, which is a germination inhibitor. In asparagus, tender shoots contain aspargin, a crystalline substance. Then chili. Pungency is due to presence of capsaicin. Green chili contains rutin. Paprika is a non-pungent, red chili powder. It is rich in thymine and highly fibrous. And cassava. It is a starchy crop and very important to remember that it has vascular blue streaking. And bitterness is due to cyanic glucoside. Next beetroot consists of folic acid and in radish aroma is due to isothiocinate and has good amount of wheat seed in okra galacturonic and glucuronic polysaccharides are present in potato solanin is present about 5 milligrams per 100 grams aroma in potato is due to dimethylpyrazine and Imp nutrient is nitrogen. Then turnip. It contains ascorbic acid and vitamin A also iron. 
Onion is rich in vitamin B. In coal crops, flavor is due to sinigrin. Next, cabbage. Aroma in raw cabbage is due to presence of allyl isothiocyanate, and in cooked cabbage, aroma is due to dimethyl disulfide. It also contains anti-cancer property that is indole-3-carbinol, which is important objective. In Brussels, bitter taste is due to heavy application of potassium, whereas loose sprouts are called as blowlets. Next, it's important to know the lute-rich vegetable. That is kale. In broccoli, anti-cancer property is sulfophane. In horse radish, pungency is due to isothiocyanate. Jerusalem artichoke contain insulin. Globe artichoke. Flower heads are useful for diabetic patients. In curry leaves, leaves contain xenigin, whereas flowers contain marain. Yams contain sapogenin. Yam flour is called as cocote. In elephant foot yam, acridity is due to calcium oxalate. And smooth combs are high acidic in nature. In taro or colocasia, taro flour is referred as baby food. Combs are used for fermented acid product. Then in cluster bean, galactomannan, which is mucilaginous substance used for preparation of gua gum. Young plant contain HCN, which is toxic to animals. Lima bean is used for wine preparation. In onion, pungency or aroma is due to presence of allyl propyl disulfide. Carbohydrate present in onion is fructin. Enzyme present in onion is alanase. And major one, antifungal compound seen in onion is catechol. Then, Tear inducing substance in onion is lacrimal factor 1 propanyl sulfonic acid. Onion is the richest source of vanadium. In garlic, aroma is due to the presence of the allyl disulfide. And the antibacterial compound in onion is allicin. In radish, the sugar present is glucose. And in cocoa bits and cucumis. Bitterness is due to presence of cucurbitacins. Bitter gourd contain vitamin C and iron. Cheratin is alkaloid present in bitter gourd and it has anti-diabetic property. Seed protein present in cucurbit is resin. Pumpkin contain carotenoid. Cacrol contain protein about 3.1%. Chow chow contain calcium ion about 140 mg. Lafane contain gelatinous composition in Lufa species. Snake gourd contain trichosanthin, which has anti-HIV activity. Now let us know about the pigments and compounds present in fruit. Firstly, in grapes, resveratrol is antioxidant and fleshy aroma is due to presence of methyl anthranolate. In mangosteen, Red color of rind is due to cyanidin 3 glucoside. Aroma of fleshy aril is due to presence of hexyl acetate. Lockwatt. Seeds and peel contains amygdalin, which further converts to HCN. In durian, the fruit flavor is due to presence hydrogen sulfide, ethyl hydrosulfide, the alkyl polysulfide. Bitterness in almond is due to presence of amygdalin. In mango, carotenoid is present, which has anti-cancer property. And also chlorophylls A and B are present. In banana, lute, alpha-carotene, and beta-carotene. Green or raw banana contain hexanil, and ripe banana contain eugenol. And overripe banana contain isopentanol. In citrus, Flavonoid present is hesperidin and is also reason for aroma. Bitter glucoside present is naringin. Orange color in Nagpur mandarin contain cryptoxanthin pigment. In pomegranate, acidulant property present is analdana. 
Tannins are present all parts of pomegranate. Major 1. In Cherry Flavor is due to methyl anthranilate and methyl salicylate. Color in cherry is due to kerasinin chloride. Seeds of cherry contain satanic powder. Bitter taste in cherry is due to amygdalin. In jamun, flower, fruit contains the hydrocarbyl acetate, jananyl butyrate, terpenyl valerate. Seeds of jamun contain alkaloid jambosin and glycoside jambosin and antimelin. In strawberry, flavor is due to ethyl esters, ethyl butanoate and ethyl hexanoate. In peach, the pronacin is principal glycoside. Seeds contain amygdalin. Walnut consists of omega-3 fatty acids. Apricot contain carotenoids. In apple, ripe apple contain ethyl to methyl butyrate. And green apple contain hexanil. Grapefruit contain nootkatone. Lemon contain citril. And orange contain valencine. Pigments and compounds in flowers. In rose, blue color due to delphinine. And blueing of petals is due to accumulation of ammonia. And if I missed any pigment or compound here, then kindly let me know in the comments. So friends, in next video let us see the principal compounds and alkaloids present in all plantations, medicinal, spices and aromatic crops. Please remember that, it takes so much efforts for our team to present all the informative content which is absolutely chargeless. So, if you find this video informative then please subscribe our channel, like and share with your friends, and any kind of suggestions are welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. And keep supporting us. Wait for more videos, till then take care.